Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the brush. On today's episode, we got ourselves a night vision scope that we're gonna be unboxing today. Shout out to One Leaf. I'll link them down in the description. They sent us out this scope. The model is the Commander NV400, 4 to 52 by 50. So we're gonna give this guy an unboxing, see what all comes with it. And then we'll have some future videos where we go out and do some coyote hunts, some raccoon hunts, or whatever kind of night vision hunting that we can legally do in Michigan. So if you wanna see that stuff, subscribe right now so you don't miss out on that later. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this unboxing. All right, before we get into the sucker, I'm gonna talk about some of the quick features that are pretty cool is there is a 4K scope cam implemented into this. And I believe you just enter a micro SD card in there and you can record your scope cam footage, which is pretty cool. There's stuff that's like a range finder that'll come on it. It'll display the, the yardage, got different modes. It says there's a compass in there and there's a pretty good zoom on this thing. It can get way out there. You have five different color options for your reticles. All right, opening her up right on the top, user manual. No one needs that. Hey, look at that. Two year warranty. All right, just open up the box and to start off, you got yourself a battery charger. And that battery charger goes with your big flashlight. There's a battery that slides right in the back here. You can plug it in and charge it right there. Next up, we got some scope rings so that when it's at night, you can put your eye up to this thing to block out all the light and see your scope really well. And then when you shoot, there's a lot of room here so you don't scope yourself right in the face. That's not fun. And then we got a couple different charging cords for different batteries that go with this thing. A couple different Allen wrenches and O-rings to replace things with. Here she is, the main piece right here. Looks like we got the range finder on the side right here. So we're gonna go inside here and get this thing charged up, fired up, and try to figure out how it all works because we don't really know yet. So once we get it all figured out, we'll catch you guys. So we got her all set up on the AR here. Got our 223. So we figured out what you need if you wanted to go out there and shoot something at night. Basically you have right here on the back, this brings the field of vision in and out so that it lines up with your eye. And then up front here is your focus to focus your picture in. This is actually an IR flashlight. So at night it shows up through the, through the scope. And then over here, this is your range finder. In the scope, it actually isn't like a normal scope. It's an actual camera that displays a screen right here. And that shows you what you're looking at. And it's definitely pretty complicated. There's a lot of menus and stuff, but we've already figured out how to range, how to change the reticles, and how to do anything we need to go out and shoot some coyotes if we wanted to. So. You have your different menus on the top right here for recording mode, picture mode, night mode, day mode, starry mode. And then you can review your videos and pictures through this in the screen inside here. Because over here on the side, there's micro SD and different adapters. So if you want to hook it up to your computer or get footage off of this, you can do that. All right, so as you guys can see, we're recording right here. We have our reticle in the middle. We can zoom in way out to the other side of this lake, which is probably four or 500 yards. And once you zoom in, you turn your front dial to focus. Now let's see if it'll range all the way across there. It says out of range. So let's, let's try to range something closer here. Like I said, I'm not sure what the, the distance range is on this thing, but... So that was just a quick overview. We're gonna wait for it to get dark out and come back out here and get a little night vision. See if we can look around and maybe see some deer because there's always deer going through here. So we'll come back out when it gets dark. In the meantime, we'll figure out how to use the night vision. So you guys stay tuned. Alright, got dark out, 
got the scope out here. We're gonna get this thing fired up, get the scope cam fired up. We'll see what it looks like. Here's what it looks like just in night mode. Now I'm gonna flip on the IR light. Now you can see what that looks like. Well, I haven't seen an animal yet. I don't know what exactly they're gonna be looking like. They're gonna stand out really good or they're gonna blend in, but there's an animal there I'd believe that I'd be able to see him. Move in a little bit. Alright, before we send this one off, I also forgot to mention this IR light has three modes. You just lightly tap this button. You can see there's three lights lit up, that means it's in the highest mode, one light is lowest, and two is in the middle. So, that's cool, this is all pretty cool. Still new, so we don't really know a whole lot about it yet, but I'm sure we'll make a re review video maybe six months down the road, or during one of our hunting videos, if we end up getting an animal or something like that, we'll be able to post that video, but if you guys made it this far, hit that like button and subscribe. Go check out One Leaf in the description down below. Go check out their website. We'll see you guys next time.